reduced after 1999. The Buckley Report recommends performance-related pay for semi-state chief executives. And the Albanian government tightens its grip as political talks flounder. Hello and welcome to the programme. Also this evening, the Supreme Court tells three men whose prison sentences were quashed they can seek compensation. In Germany, clashes continue between protesters and police over controversial transport of nuclear waste. And the jury in the trial of top footballers on charges of match-fixing failed to reach a verdict. Senior officials of the European Commission of today warned the Taoiseach that because of strong economic growth here, Ireland's allocation of European Union structural funds is likely to be significantly reduced after 1999. Mr Bruton, who was in Brussels to meet members of the European Commission, said that as more countries joined the European Union, Ireland would have to ensure that its development programmes were protected. But the regional aid commissioner, Monica wolf Matthias, said structural funding was never intended to be a permanent subsidy. It was not, she said, manna forever. The current round of structural funds, under which billions of pounds has been invested here, ends in 1999. And because of rising incomes, Ireland is unlikely to qualify for maximum funding in the next round. At the headquarters of the European Commission today, the Taoiseach was told Ireland's continuing economic success will affect its long-term case for structural funds. At present, we received the level of transfers reserved for the poorest countries. But that's likely to change when commitments end in 1999. Structural fund money is not a sub subsidy forever and a permanent manner, but that it's aimed at reaching objectives and so if you have reached objectives you can be happy because others admire you for that. The changes in EU aid will also affect agriculture. The farm commissioner Franz Fischler confirmed that later this year he will publish radical proposals to overhaul the common agriculture policy. The Commission says change is inevitable but it will be a tapered reduction rather than a complete shut-off. We don't want to destroy with one hand what we've built up with the other, and this means that we won't go for abrupt changes or shocks, but that we try to see that there is a phasing out period which will allow the Irish economy to adjust to the new situation and to its success. In total, the Taoiseach met four members of the Commission today, including the President, Jacques Saunter. Mr. Bruton indicated Ireland will vigorously fight its corner in all future negotiations. There's no point pretending that there aren't big challenges for Ireland in the years ahead. Challenges in regard to the structural funds, in regard to the common agricultural policy, in regard to the intergovernmental conference for that matter as well. And I think it's important that we should be able to turn and use the success of the presidency uh, to advantage over the coming years and use that reputation that we've got to our national advantage within the European Union. And that's what uh, I would intend to do, and that's what I'm preparing to do by this visit. To keep matters in context, it's worth pointing out that because of economic problems in key places like Germany and France, enthusiasm for enlargement has waned. Because of that, countries from Eastern Europe would be competing with Ireland for structural funds may not be admitted to the EU as quickly as they would like. On the other hand, there's no denying the fact that Ireland is now perceived as being a prosperous country. And it's going to have to accept the consequences of that fact. The introduction.